Hi, welcome to another Leeds Guitar Studio video. Today we're going to have a little quickie. And uh, we're going to look at these strings I've just uh, had put on the guitar. Um, and they are Kemp strings. And there's something quite unique about them. Um, they are basically designed so that when you bend uh, using the trem or otherwise on the lower strings, they will all ascend or descend uh, together in equal pitch, which of course, if you know anything about using a trem on a strat or whatever, uh, you know, if you hit a chord and you dive bomb, the two notes aren't going to go down equally. They're going to go down in uh, different rates and you get all this sign of uh, intermodulation warbling, which is quite a cool thing. If you listen to Hendrix, he made good use of it all over, particularly live with these sort of uh, you know, Armageddon sounds that he used to conjure. But um, the idea with these, as I say, they will stay uh, consistent as you go down. And uh, verily they do. And uh, speaking of somebody who's been playing guitar for <coughs> 37 years, it's actually quite disconcerting. The fact that, you know, you can do this. And they actually stay in pitch relative to each other. Now, of course, there, were, there have been trems that can do this before, most notably the trans trem, the Steinberger, um, which, you know, great bit of kit, but pretty expensive and uh, rare as rocking horses uh, do do, as far as I know. Uh, and Eddie Van Allen used to use it, if I remember right, in a few tunes. But I just love this. It's just amazing. As I say, I'm still getting to grips with it. But it's, it's quite off-putting. Uh, now, the other thing that's really nuts up about these is that uh, because the whole thing works by balancing the uh, string tension mass of the core against the wrap, if I'm right, Jonathan will correct me if I'm wrong, essentially, that means that the consistent tension or the, content, uh, the uh, consistency of the tension across the strings is very even. So they feel fantastic. Now, this is something I've been playing around with for years, particularly on the low B uh, with new tone, uh, giving it a heavier core and just trying different ways of just getting the feel just right. And the low B is always problematic on a, on a, a seven string. Uh, but this just, fantastic, just feels great straight off the bat. Uh, this is the prototype set. Uh, having Skyped with uh, Jonathan uh, yesterday and gone through some maths uh, and stuff, don't ask me, I don't understand it. Uh, he's gonna tweak the formulas a little bit to make them more consistent. I mean, one thing, one test is this. So you take a unison. Should be unison. And so it's an open G against a fretted G on the D. And they stay together. And ditto. About this isn't 100% perfect, so with the tweaks it should be. I just love it. Um, yeah, now one of the cool things I found, now I'm, uh, when I was playing around with this yesterday and just doing a bit of practice, normally what I do is I just plug in the little Zoom G1X or the MS whatever for a thing to a Bluetooth speaker and play around with it. And I was playing around with the harmonizer and uh, you can do this kind of thing. So, um, this is just set to D minor, and... Uh... <laughs> so all the harmonies follow as well. So, um, as far as I'm concerned, there's a potential game changer there in terms of the, how, the way the whole guitar feels and response. Because I've always found the consistency of, you know, I mean, again, this pertains to bending. So if you're bending a, uh, a tone, a note on the D string, and you want it to go a tone, you're gonna have to bend it a certain distance. Hopefully you get it right. Now, of course, in traditional strings, as you went across to the A, to the E, the, the physical distance, 
that you bent that note would vary to get to the same pitch difference. Oh, that is good. But with these, it's the same for every string. So uh, checking them out, Kemp strings, go on the website. Um, it explains the physics much more eloquently than I possibly could. Um, uh, yeah, if you're serious about <laughs> your strings and, and your tone, full stop, you know, after all, a lot of the pursuit of guitar playing is in terms of making this imperfect instrument as good as it can get, near perfect. That's why we have things like Kiesel's in the first place. This is the next step, I truly believe. I mean, strings have been long been kind of overlooked because our strings, strings, absolute rubbish. Well, it's the thing that makes the sound, you know. <laughs> it's as important as every other part of the chain, pickups, etc. blah, blah, blah. Um, so if you're a tone hound and you like good things to be in tune, which I do, then check them out, Kemp Strings. May well rock your world.